This, if you're a fan like me, you'll agree that Doctor and Clover is among the best movies ever. So do you want to join me today? Grab a chair, sit by the campfire, and we'll live this great show together. We'll travel through the entire cast, past and present, reminiscing about those who have left us and celebrating those who still shine. Are you ready? Let's dive in and rekindle some incredible memories. Joan Sims played the character Matron Sweet in the movie when she was 36 in 1966. Sadly, on June 27, 2001, she left us due to illness at 71 in Chelsea, London, England. We're deeply saddened by her passing. Myself, metaphorically speaking, of course. May I get you some more tea? No, thank you. I really must go and change. I think Matron would like me to take over as soon as possible. Very good. Bill Gallagher rang and said, um, Ty's been asking me about the uh, bacon and eggs. I mean, when are we coming? <laughs> and I thought, my God, he was actually serious. So, of course, I... Jeremy Lloyd played the character Lambert Symington in the movie when he was 36 in 1966. Sadly, on December 23, 2014, he left us due to pneumonia at 84 in London, England. We're deeply saddened by his passing. Can't sleep, can't think. Well, I never was much good at that, sir. No, you weren't, actually. <laughs> and wherever I look, I see her. Who? The prettiest physiotherapist in the hospital. The story is actually two. Uh, I didn't think they, they stood you that long, really. Um, Sims was famous department store in London, and uh, I was a junior yeah. assistant. And it's... Terry Scott played the character Robert the hairdresser in the movie when he was 39 in 1966. Sadly, on July 26, 1994, he left us due to cancer at 67 in Whitley, Surrey, England. We're deeply saddened by passing. Yes, but we'll have to let this grow, and then we can bring this up and round, softening the lines of the forehead, widening the... <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was going out with a girl called Sylvie Williams, and uh, God bless you if you're looking today, darling. And, uh, <laughs> and I ran a hygiene concert party, and we went to... Leslie Phillips played the character Dr. Gaston Grimsdyke in the movie when he was 42 in 1966. Sadly, on November 7, 2022, he left us due to two strokes at the age of 89 in London, England. We're deeply saddened by passing. How old do you think I am? What's uh, 36? I'm nothing of the sort. I may look 36, man. I'm only 35. In many ways, and even out of this business yes but drink is a mistake Fenella Fielding played the character Tatiana Rubikov in the film when she was 39 in 1966 sadly on September 11 2018 she left us due to a stroke at 90 years old in Blacksmith London England we're deeply saddened by passing hey, silly daddy <laughs> you think so? oh yes you would have made a wonderful dancer you've got the physique Totally brilliant, quotable lines. I mean, you could actually get people to come on stage one after another without any... Shirley Enfield played the character Nurse Bancroft in the film when she was 30 years old in 1966. Sadly, on December 10, 2023, she left us due to natural causes at 87 in England. We're deeply saddened by passing. What? No, 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 I can't do this. Come on, I'd love to teach no, you. No, 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 look, no, look. Look, I'm... it's quite simple. No, I'm a fox top man, really. Well, we do the shake. Huh? Come on. Do you, um, do you, are you a fan of couture? Yes, whenever I can afford it. <laughs> yes. yes. Absolutely. I used to wear jean muir all the time. Oh. Alfie Bass played the character Fleming in the movie when he was 50 years old in 1966. Sadly, on July 16, 1987, he left us after suffering a heart attack at 71 in Barney, London, England. We're deeply saddened by his passing. Yeah, well, maybe the growth. See, the, the pain, sir, is something awful. I have to cry myself to sleep every night when I'm in bed. So could I just stay for one more week? Record players? Yeah, I want to find out what it comes to, if you don't mind. What? Arthur. What? If you don't come to £427.35p, Noel Purcell played the character O'Malley in the movie when he was 66 in 1966. Sadly, on March 3, 1985, he left us of natural causes at 84 in Dublin, County Dublin, Ireland. We're deeply saddened by his passing. You have nothing to leave. Oh, no. Being of sound mind and limb, 
I hereby be. James Robertson Justice played the character Sir Lancelot Spratt when he was 59 in 1966. Sadly, on July 2, 1975, he left us due to a series of strokes at the age of 68 in Romsey, Hampshire, England. We're deeply saddened by his passing. I'd be able to put in a word for you, promotion-wise, if you agreed to cooperate. I'm too young, sir. Nonsense. How old are you? 43, 44? Eric Barker played the character Professor Halfback in the movie when he was 54 in 1966. Sadly, on June 1, 1990, he left us with liver cancer at 78 in Faversham, England. We're deeply saddened by his passing. It's not only that your qualifications weren't quite up to the mark, but, well, with a responsible job like this, you look much too young. Robert Hutton played the character Rock Stewart in the film when he was 46 in 1966. Sadly, on August 7, 1994, he left us due to illness at 74 in New York, USA. We're deeply saddened by his passing. Now, you can go straight back to work. You mean I don't have to lie down and rest for an hour or so? No. Doctor, how can I thank you? You've saved my life. Arthur Haynes played the character Tarquin Wendover in the movie when he was 52 in 1966. Sadly, on November 19, 1966, he left us due to heart attack at 52 in Ealing, London, England. We're deeply saddened by his passing. I, uh, nobody made a note of it. Can't have been a very serious coronary if nobody else noticed it, can it? Not serious. Not serious, he says. Not serious. Did you re John Fraser played the character Dr. Miles Grimsdyke in the film when he was 35 in 1966. Sadly, on November 6, 2020, he left us due to esophageal cancer at the age of 89 in Scotland. We're deeply saddened by his passing. Uh, suppose I get you a better job. Say, uh... Say ship's doctor on a, on a Mediterranean cruise. Yeah, that's very nice of you, I accept. When did we start? I was only suggesting that as an example. Okay, let's chat. Who is your favorite character in Doctor in Clover? Please comment and share interesting things below this video. And as always, show some love. Hit the like button, subscribe to know more, and hit the bell to never miss my new content. I can't wait to create more wonderful memories with you. Thanks so much and stay tuned for more. See you again as soon as possible.